hours of posting signs is getting old. Where's the best spot to put up a post, do you think? Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. Would you care to share a performance with me? Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. There's no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. <sighs> My husband's got spirit. I'll give him that. I just hope he stays out of trouble. These used to be our waters, you know. And they will be again someday. You hear that? Yeah, he's gonna make you proud. These used to be our waters, you know. And they will be again someday. We really ought to start thinking of names for the baby. It would be nice if Rhonda could give us a few suggestions, but... No. 
best. Let's show our passion through our cards and make Shinra listen. Hello. My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Wanna play and help me drum up interest?
That was great! See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone! You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Because the key to world peace isn't violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting on you. here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil, and I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Wanna play against a future celebrity?
wipe the floor with me. Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won. I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me, clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days, I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. Nothing like a match after a sick jam session. You'll at least stick around to listen, right? young lady. We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, um... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest on a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep caps on its well-being and whatnot. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for, until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. I can't help but feel disappointed when I don't see it for a time. And a little worried. You'll find something tasty for it, won't you? <laughs> Let me guess. We're gonna join up. People of the crow's nest, listen! Reach! Look at our ocean! Look at it! Who among you is a worthy opponent? <laughs> Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood Champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands, 
As I communed with nature, I received a vision. The true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come.
This is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. That voice. Could it be? Has returned? No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. This match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. They certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. Junon, and you are. Oh man, I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Oh, what if it is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here, or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is Business 101. <sighs> Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <clears throat> Allergies. What? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama! As I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done! But not to worry! I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? But what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? 
Come on! Don't be petty! Oh, I'll even give you some of these! Pass. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight.
Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <laughs> okay, later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh yeah! Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work on the side too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Avalanche by day, traveling mercs by night. I don't know how you dudes find the time to do it all. Feel like we should probably rope this place off. Don't want anyone else wandering inside and making trouble. What were you thinking sending Sam back alone like that? He even need us in the first place? Your mother'd give Stamp a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. You did a good job today, boy. Someone's getting extra pets. Do you think it's gonna be a little boy or a little girl? <laughs> I bet you can't wait to find out either, can you, Sam? Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and wood bending. Time moving on, and the light here. The way it bounces off the ocean below, and the metal above. A pastiche of contrasts. The stark steel beams, the weather-beaten homes, the drying fish. Hey there, thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured, good going. Association was impressed too, bumped you up a rank. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. Look, over there! Condor's dinner. Maybe we can track its scent.
Taking over. Guess it's in here. Let's go. Best take the lead. On you. What do we do now? Oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you.
This is quite the cut of meat. I've no doubt the bird will be unable to resist the call of such fine dining. Gotta say, it's kinda nice, looking up and seeing a blue sky. Eats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> Though at least with the steel sky you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kinda get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! Hmm? <sighs> what a sight! I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Ah. Oh, wait. We have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir. Come on. Gather around, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Say cheese. Oh. <laughs> what? So, snap any good shots? I hope so. It just showed up. I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, Scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss, I'd like you to have this as a souvenir. <laughs> nice face, Cloud. Like I always do. I really am nothing but a colossal failure. We haven't had a sighting like that in who knows how long. And it's all thanks to you. I've never had the privilege of seeing a condor up close like that before. <laughs> My heart is still pounding. Everyone, quickly, quickly! As a souvenir. <laughs> what about those? Better than nothing, right? Come on! Gather around, everyone! Quickly, quickly! As a souvenir. <laughs>